This time it's called Anime Characters Changes After Studio Change from Anime World. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh no, it's the date of life to start off. AIC Season 1, Yatogami Toka, man. They Honestly, it's Geek Season 1 and Season 2 comparison is fine. That's I'm I'm not mad about that. I'm upset about what happens when Geek Toys takes over because every character just doesn't really look the same. Like season two and season one, I think this is perfectly fine. It's the season four changes that really I think pissed a lot of people off, man. And then we have Ria's Gremory here, and Tink, I mean, I think that the new Gr Rias Gremory doesn't look bad. But obviously, when you start off a show, something as nostalgic and iconic as High School DX Data Live, people are going to be anchored towards what they saw from the beginning. And that nostalgia is always going to trump. So even if, you know, the new Rias is decent, I don't think you're going to be able to capture the hearts of, you know, the old Rias Gremory. Next, Log Horizon. Satellite and Dean. Um, I genuinely cannot tell a difference. We need a better picture comparison. The models look pretty similar. And then we have over here Kyo Annie versus Satellite spinoff for Haruhi. Uh, yeah, definitely looks way different. Looks more modern, right? Well, this one is like, what? Early 2000s, 90s? Next up, we have Golden Kamui. Geno Studios or Geno Studios Season 1 to Season 3. Then we have Brain Base Season 4. I haven't seen Golden Kamui. So that's going to be interesting. If I come in without knowing the show, therefore I have no bias, right? All I see is two different pictures and see which one is better. Honestly, the brain space one isn't bad, right? I think the face is a little bit more smaller. I don't know. They're, they're both good, but it's not such a big difference like, you know, Rias Grimory in my opinion. We got, oh, Fate. I think this is Tosaka Rin, right? Studio Dean versus Ufotable. I don't think anyone is going to be glazing Dean over Ufotable, right? No one's going to say Dean is better because like it's Ufotable. Ufotable Rin is probably just better in every aspect. Unless for people that's, you know, dying of nostalgia, right? Next up, we got more High School of DxD. Hyodo Issei. And it's the same shit. It's like season 4 doesn't look bad. I just prefer the old style. All right. Seven Deadly Frames. A1 picture. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Because like A1 pictures wouldn't do season 5 that dirty. So season 1, season 2, and then I don't know what season 3 and 4 happened, but A1 pictures polish versus telecom animations film. And like, you know that this is a catfish picture as well. This is a still frame of what it looks good. Like, seven, just, just fucking Google 7 deadly frames, bro. Like, all we gotta do is this. 7 deadly frames. That's literally all we have to do. And you can see these pictures, right? You can see this. 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 Right? Right? Let's get serious now. Let's get serious now. It's it's not even fucking close. Right? They're catfishing here. Next up, Spice and Wolf. Ooh. So back in the day, season one and season two already had different studios. And like, there's obviously a remake of Spice and Wolf as well. Um, everyone probably loves the original Spice and Wolf Hollow, right? Next up, we have In Another World with my smartphone. Smartphone Isekai, and I genuinely cannot tell the difference between Production Read and JC Staff. Isn't J JC Staff is probably better than Production Read, right? I'm not sure. I'm just saying that because I know of JC Staffs due to their brand's, you know, recognition, but I don't know what Production Read is. They look pretty much the same, though. Next up, oh, more fates. Dean versus Ufotable. Again, I don't think anyone is gonna say Ufotable is, you know, worse than Dean, right? Ufotable. Dean probably has like the nostalgic, you know, uh, feeling vibe of the original, but like Ufotable polish is just too much. It's too good. Next up, Higurashi when they cry. Um, I think this is a show that a lot of people. Want me to play the visual novel? Or was it the anime? This is like a murder mystery kind of shit, right? Where we could really delve into the schizo theory crafting. Rika Furude. Um... Season Passion definitely makes it look more modern. I prefer the older look. I kind of prefer the older look. Next up. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. JC Staff is the studio that fucked up One Punch Man, huh? Just as soon as I said, you know, JC Staff ain't 
That's where I heard the name from. That's why I heard the fucking name from. Like, you cannot compete with Season 1 Madhouse. This was a different time period when there was so much love and passion poured towards One Punch Man to have a successful launch release of Season 1. Season 2, it, it, it's, it's a stark contrast. And I hear that they are doing Season 3 as well. But the trailers and the shit that they've gave us, it actually looks pretty decent. I think they're gonna step up their games compared to Season 3, compared to, uh, uh, compared to Season 2, I mean. Next up... We got Satellite and Studio Dean for Log Horizon, and I genuinely cannot tell the difference. They look the same to me, man. Next, Yu-Gi-Oh! Toei Animation versus Studio... What the fuck is Season 0? What is this, like the prologue, bro? Um, when I watched, like, TV and watching random episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! growing up, I think this is definitely what we're most familiar with, right? Furita. I didn't even know that there was a difference in studios in Season 1 and Season 2. White Fox? Or isn't White Fox good? Wait a minute. Hold the fuck up. Didn't White Fox do ReZero? Wait, wait, which studio did ReZero? ReZero Season 1 studio. It's White Fox! How did they fuck up the CGI in Season 1? In Arifurita? Because, like, ReZero I'm watching right now, the CGI looks pretty good. The CGI does not distract me. It's not a whiplash. But when I watch Ari Furuta, what the fuck happened? I guess they just... Budget? Yeah, I guess just because the studio is the same studio doesn't mean that it got the same amount of resources to put their love into their product. So, ReZero got a lot of love, but I guess Ari Furuta kind of just got thrown under the bus. Unfortunate. Next up. A restaurant to another... <laughs> What kind of fucking isekai is a restaurant to another world? We got Silver Link and OLM. Dude, they're not even the same characters. This girl's blonde. This girl's fucking orange hair. <laughs> this, this shit ain't even the fucking same. But Letter got a different hair color too. Black Clover, next up. Zebek versus Studio Pirat. Um, Zebek doesn't even have a season. Wonder what this is about. I think that, um, uh, what's his name? His name is Asta, right? I think Asta looks fantastic here. Okay, here we go. Fairy tale. A1 picture is satellite. A1 picture is bridge. Does that mean there's a satellite team and a bridge team? Or is this a collaboration with different studios as well? Uh, Natsu Dragneel looks identical in both to me, in my opinion. Irregular Magic High School. It doesn't matter, 8-Bit Studios, how well you try to make it look like Season 1, you are... What they did to Irregular Magic High School is unforgivable. Season 1 was so fucking peak. There may have been some slow episodes, but I thought overall, like the 26, 27 episodes, whatever it was, Season 1, like three separate arcs of like 9 to 8 episodes each arc, was so fucking fulfilling. It was so good. Yes, there were some confusing moments here and there, but I could still keep up with it. And I love the show. Every arc was so impactful. Immediately you go in, only someone's getting discriminated upon. Terrorists are attacking. Only someone handles that shit. Everyone glaze. Then we get into one of the best goddamn tournament arcs I've seen in anime. The outcome of the Crimson Prince and the Okinawa Devil Bro. Oh my god, it's so good. The fucking... So good! The movie was good too. Then you had the thesis competition, which ended up just being an all-out war, bro. It was so good. And then what happened? Season 2, they started- As soon as the parasites got introduced, everything went down the shithole, man. As soon as the parasites got introduced, everything went down the shithole. No one cares. Alina fucking sucks. I don't care. Give me Maroni 7. Season 3, just drop the fucking ball. And people say, no, nah, bro. They're setting up for that Yotsuba stuff. The irregular Magic High School ended for me. In season one. That's it. I'm never gonna... I, I, irregular is a frozen memory of season one and everything beyond that never exists for me, man. It is disgusting what they did to my fucking show. One Punch Man! You know what the craziest shit is? If you show people two different frames, people would probably say that JC staff did a better job, right? Just because it's just a baldy. They would probably say JC Staff did a better job based off of these two frames. But we know Madhouse just blew it out of the water, right? We have Gintama now. Sakata Gintoki. 
Hmm. Sunrise made it definitely look a little bit more old. I don't think that season 4 to season 8 is bad. I think that this is pretty good. I'm totally down with this new Gintoki. Next up, Snafu. Yeah, I think that Snafu, Brain Base Season 1, then Fuel Season 2, 3. I thought that this um, new upgrade of animation, like, I think that they're doing Snafu Season 1 dirty here. Hachiman, they took a bad fucking frame. But, like, the new studio, I think this is definitely an upgrade. Next up, we got Brain Base again. Season 1 and Season 2 of Drive. Uh, Brain Base, honestly, this animation style is very nostalgic. Probably like old animes, right? To your eternity, Drive. Konosuba! Can't even tell the difference. Because it's the same fucking picture side by side with more lighting here. There are some differences for sure, but not significant enough to, to say that this show is ruined. No, I think that season 3 animation is perfectly fine. What I'm upset about is how Studio Drive did not give Mr. Mohawk scene lines. Studio Dean gave Mohawk Man, the stylish ruffian, a lot of lines. He was one of my favorite characters in Konosuba. Season 3, as soon as the studio changed, bro got no lines, bro. This is a conspiracy theory that I'm gonna die on. Yep, that's what happened. Next up, we have the Ancient Magus Bride. Unfortunate, bro. Unfucking fortunate Not the animation studio change, but... Bro. So, like, when Eminence and Shadow finale popped off on my channel, and I had no understanding of the YouTube algorithm, and I was just getting bailed out just, in, just by the finale, Ancient Magus Bride killed my channel. Watch this. Bro. This was Ancient Magus Bride. Sorry, hold up. Let's look at this. Right over here. Look at this look look at the spike on February 16th, right? February 14th, 15th. Did you hear? This is Eminence and Shadow Finale. And when the YouTube algorithm bailed me out and gave me 60k views, what did I do? I shoved Ancient Magus Bride down your throats. Because season two was happening. And then every video I made for Ancient Magus Bride, it was sending the worst possible signals to the YouTube algorithm. And I lost all faith and the hype just died. Look at that. This is proof that chasing virality gets you fucking nothing. Once you go viral, you need to be able to console that into the community or else growth never fucking happens. I killed my channel after I got a fucking a ticket to freedom with Eminence and Shadow finale. What I should have done there is ask the people, what do you want to watch after Eminence and Shadow? But unfortunately, I had no understanding of the algorithm and I fucked myself by trying to prepare for Ancient Magus Bride that no one even cared about in my channel because I knew that season two was coming, bro. What a sad, sad situation, but hey, at least we recovered. But in terms of the actual animation for Ancient Magus Bride, mm, from what I remember, season one was amazing. I didn't watch season two, but it looks pretty same. It looks pretty similar. Next up, Blue Exorcist. I cannot tell the difference. This looks pretty same. In fact, I bet A1 Pictures is better than Studio Volan, right? I'm just going to assume that they are. Attack on Titan! With studios into MAPPA, I don't think anyone was complaining about the animation quality in Season 4, were they? Because MAPPA already is a good studio in terms of the product they put out, but obviously at what cost, right? But Season 1 and Season 3 by West Studio, West Studio definitely holding it down. And then, again, remember, just... I just... Geek Toys... Is this really Geek Toys Toka? I just feel like, I don't know, JC, ugh. season 1, season 2, uh, season 1 to 3 data live characters, it, it's the usage of the CGI in Geek Toys, that's what I'm pissed about. It, it's, it's the CGI models of the girls that's fighting that I'm mad about, right? That like just does not look as good as season 1 to 3 content. Much prefer JC staff and um, the other studio. We have How Not to Summon Demon Lord, Diablo, Ajia Do, and Tenzuka Production. Um... Whenever we actually see this, I'm sure we're going to be able to see the animation in display, but... Achia, though, probably looks better than this, right? I don't know. I feel like some of the frames that's being picked are cherry-picked, and it makes the other one look better. But in between these two, I feel like this is looking better, simply because there's, like, more shading here. And then... Bro, this ain't even the same character. What the fuck? Baki's a ginger? Yo... Baki went from ginger white kid to Giga Ch What? 
Group T is season one and season two, and then what happened? What the fuck happened? This is his actual hair color? This is a, not the same. What? This, this is what steroids does to you, man. This is what steroids does to you. <laughs> Next up. Is this not Kirito? What the fuck? Also, this is uh, Devil's a Part Timer. Mao Sama. Bro, what Studio 3 Hertz did to Mao Sama, it, it's so bad. Season 1, I, I think that they need to show Chi Chan. I think that they need to show Chi Chan, bro. Let's look at Chi Chan here. Let's do it. Devil's a Part Timer. Look at this shit. Devil's a Part Timer. Season 1, Chi. This is the Chi Chan that I remember, bro. This is the Chi Chan that I remember, right? And then, season two. What the fuck is this garbage? What happened to her? What, what happened? That's not the girl I remember, bro. It's so jarring. Who, who the fuck is this? Who? who? What? Season two, Devil's a part timer, is a fucking L, man. See, and like, th that's a sad thing. Cause like, season one was like so good. But the plot was not getting good yet because they're just starting off. And season two had the really interesting plot with all the mysteries of what's going on, but they just fucking butchered it. It may, I, I don't know. I, 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 I really think that season two, cause like I watched this shit back to back. I marathoned season one to cover season two in time. And I remember the drastic change in production value and like just the way the story is told. I did not like season two. I didn't have the same, same same level of polish or feelings. Season one was way better. Next up, Black Butler. Oh, A1 Pictures into Cloverworks. Yo, these two are just both goaded, right? A1 Pictures is already cracked. So is Cloverworks is cracked. I don't know which I like better. Probably the original. This, I don't know. This one looks more Ikemen and more dangerous while this one doesn't. It's again, it's just cherry picked pictures. And then <laughs> you have CGI guts versus real guts. You have Studio 4 Degrees, the movies, and then we have Millipensy, season 2, season 3. Yeah, this is the fucking joke, right? So Millipensy, remember that studio, bro. Remember that studio as the one that fucking ruined Berserk. Every time a shitty CGI example shows up, you see guts just floating away. And that's it from me, man. Please go give Mr. Anime World a like on his video. Sub to his channel if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next one.